Good afternoon, Floss Tube. I'm Ann Thompson with the Shepherd's Needle in Little Rock, Arkansas. Today is Saturday, um, let's see, December the 7th, and we are getting prepped for a lot of activities this month. We will actually have Marlene Bush with us today that will be um, just here to sit and stitch and visit. Uh, we do still have a few openings. I'm not for sure that you'll see this by that time, um, but we look forward to having her and um, just in, going to enjoy the day. I have gotten a lot of feedback about showing the fabrics and the DMC um, kind of colors to help you see what you it, what it may look like, and so I have pulled some more of those. Um, I've matched up some. We've pulled some charts and pulled the threads with it. We'll, I'll show you some just different things. Um, there's lots that has come in, so check out um, our website. Um, the new selection uh, is um, up and just constantly going all the time. We're um, just ordering a new product, restocking product. Um, I love the old and I love the new. Um, so just we hope you enjoy um, our floss tube and um, I do want to say thank you I'm not for sure if these ladies will watch but this week we have had um, a lady from Mississippi headed to California for Christmas we had a lady uh, from Tennessee headed to Branson and then we had a lady from Alaska that had come down and went to see her family in El Dorado and is headed back home and so I really appreciate those of you that when you travel you do stop by and see the local shops that are available we are far few between and um, that's something that I love to do when I'm going to travel I always look to see even if it takes me a little bit out of my way I love to go in and to see other shops and see what they have and how they're displaying things and um, I always learn something new visiting another shop whether it be just a, a hint of um, something that they've stitched um, sometimes lots of things have been changed. The fabric count has been changed. The colors have been changed. So it's just really interesting to see the um, the artist, um, the owner that owns the shop and her uh, unique artistry of what she has took a designer's pattern and changed. A lot of times we stick with just strictly what they've done. But then a lot of times we have a vision, I have a vision, and I will change something. Um, and something that comes to mind that it's been kind of running over my mind in a while is I do like that Little House Needleworks Farm, I believe it's Farmhouse Christmas. But I just keep going to 25 count vintage country mocha over one. And so when I think I looked at that the other day and it's going to be about an eight and a half by eight and a half stitching the whole thing and including the border so I haven't started it or I haven't given it to somebody for a shop model yet but I thought oh how exquisite that would look just to be so tiny and petite um, but just you know just a hint that you can take anything and stitch it smaller stitch it bigger change fabric colors or whatever so I'm gonna jump right in and the first thing I want to show you is some things with Christmas coming up uh, if you need gifts or hints, stocking stuffers, I just pulled a couple of things. And so this is the Sapphire Snow. It's a little Mill Hill kit. And then these little kits, you get everything. The stitching needle, the beading needle, the, the um, beads, the fabrics, the perforated paper. You get everything. Uh, so let me get up here. And then this is the actual one stitched if I can it's gonna be I'm gonna get it kind of I'm sorry I'm a little all right there we go how let's try that okay and what I like to do with these is while it's still not trimmed out I will find a pretty coordinating scrapbook paper and just glue the stitched part down and let it I like to lay this on a fat fluffy towel flat overnight let it dry, come back and just trim the whole thing out at one time, including the beautiful scrapbook paper on the back. Okay, 
And then Miss Bonna has done some Halloween ones for me, which we've turned into the tag ornaments. So, but if you're really just needing quick stocking stuffers or a quick ornament exchange, these really work well. And so I pulled one more, and this one is called Mary, M-E-R-R-Y. And the same thing is you'll get the, the beads, the threads, the perforated paper, jingle bells, everything. And I just did the same thing to that one. And you always have enough of the beads left over to make a hanger with. So um, just quickies, great stocking stuffers. And then these called um, from ISO Emma. And it's, it's a, a mini stash and store. These come in lots of colors, and we have some of them. And then I, what I just thought I would show you is some little Christmas scissors. These, I don't know what's going on here. Candy canes. I'm kind of getting a balance here. So these are really pretty little candy canes, and they can just go right in here. This one's hollies. Little hollies there. And then this one, you're probably not going to be able to see, but it has a little Santa, whoops, I'm sorry. There's a little Santa face right there. And so all of those fit in there along with some other, um, the little square um, quilt block, um, quilt ruler things will fit in here. So this is a great little storage thing. Um, some little scissors. We have needle minders. We have the... Um, Stitchy pop needles with the little balls on the end. We also um, have the ones that are pre-packaged. We have we tube them, um, and then we've got some that are pre-packaged by Sullivan. So these are just some little quick things I wanted to show you. Treat yourself. Uh, treat a fellow stitcher or fellow quilter, whoever likes to do needlework. Um, but that's just some things that you can get um, from us from the website or your local needlework shop. Um, I don't. Um, I don't want to just sit here and sound like I'm selling to you or promoting to you. What I want to do is offer you and show you some beautiful things that we have to offer, other shops have to offer. And just remember, not one shop can carry everything. We do our best. We work very diligent and very hard to um, be available for you, to be stocked and um we just appreciate you. If it's not, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. And then I thought I would show, we've got the new Punch Needle and Prim Stitcher magazine. We've got plenty. So if you haven't been able to find one and you want one, we've got them. We have chosen a design out of here that we are going to use uh, for a class later on this year, or excuse me, in 2020. Um, we've already decided um, that um, there's just one in there that will be great for an intermediate class. Uh, so we will have our beginners classes, but we're going to do an intermediate too, and the design will come from that. Um, one more thing is we are doing the Halloween ball. It's going to be a three-part class. Um, you can find the information on our website. We will be doing this January, February. We're going to give you time to break and have make sure that your stitching is done and come back in May and do the completion part um, so you can find this information on our site if you're interested in this it's really pretty you don't get to see the whole ball um, from here but it is very very pretty and then what i thought i'd do is just show you some fabrics and so there's no rhyme or reason to my thing today i'm just going to show you some pretty fabrics and designs and this one is called crystal sprite from Picture This Plus, and this is one of the, um, I don't know that I can get you a crystal there, you, if you can see the little crystal shine. And so for your reference, because you're not, what you're seeing is not what I'm seeing, but for your reference for that, it is gonna be DMC 25, 27, and 28. And that's gonna be very, very close to the colors of, true color of what this is. And then many of you have probably already seen on Boss Tube um, 
or Instagram, because I've posted on Instagram. Blackbird has come out with Frosty's Night Out, and it will be shipped to us today. And so we should have this hopefully by Saturday. If not, we'll definitely have it ready for Tuesday when we reopen after our weekend. And that was stitched on murky. Picture this plus murky. So I thought I would just pull you some murky, which is very fitting, you know, because it is Frosty's night out. So he's outside and it's, you know, a dark murky night out there. But then I also pulled Nocturne. From picture this plus and one a good reference to that is 3768 just kind of that's what you're going to see in the darker colors and uh, just lighter shades of that color line so it would look really pretty on that and then i thought for those that want even uh, another option this is a new dye lot of uh, copper penny uh, and it's really, really pretty. And what I did is it's got some greens and browns to it. And so 938 and 3011. And then if you went to, I went to one of the overdyes. And this one is dried thyme. So it looks really, really, really close when you get the shading just right of the variation of the thread and the fabric. And so that would be really pretty on that too. If you're trying to look at that theme of the dark murky night um, or the dark frosty night. So I wanted to share that with you. It will be in the shop in just any moment. We, we always look for new packages. Uh, as one of the girls out front this morning said, it's Christmas time here every day. And it pretty much is, whether it's restock or new stuff. And so I pulled this. And this is Picture This Plus Ancient. Uh, we carry lots of um, fabric. R&R, &R, Picture This Plus, um, Hand Dyed by Stephanie, Lakeside Linens. Uh, some Wiltschultz has some really, really pretty unique colors of their own. Um, so there's just a lot. But I chose, or I've chose this, and we're going to put the quilting bee on this ancient. I just, when I looked at it, I'm just like, it's got enough of the gold in the back, but just to bring out some of the beautiful blue. And so your reference numbers on this is just going to be a crew, the 3768, the 612, and the 422. So that's kind of your color base in there. And that's what I chose for a shop model for that. And if you follow me on Instagram, just Shepherd's Needle, Floss Tube, Shepherd's Needle, and Thompson, either one will get you to me. Um, this I did put on Instagram, and this is Glacier Crystal. I picture this plus if you can see the sparkles. And then these are the color references of 3811, 3848, and 3849. And oh, these are so beautiful as far as just beautiful. And I chose this for Rack Stack, in which Miss Paulette has done quite a few of the stacks, and I have really liked them all, but this one spoke to me. Um, my dad hunts uh, deer hunts, my son deer hunts, and both of my grandsons deer hunt. So this one really just spoke to me, and so I chose the glacier and that's what I've gotten done so far and this I named her Mrs. Donner because if you watch Rudolph um, it, the book was printed in 39 by Montgomery Wards it started out with Montgomery Wards and I believe it was in 64 that they actually turned it into the little um, TV show Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer uh, which uh, has just always been one of my favorites from a child up. And so I did a little bit of research and she was called Misery's Donner later on when the, I believe when the movie kicked off or when the little TV show kicked off because Rudolph's dad was named Donner. And so I just thought that um, she deserved attention. And so I Instagrammed her because this year um, the book was, was written in 1939 and this is 2019, so 80 years Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer has been in publication. And that's just a, a cherishable memory for a lot of people and just favorite. Actually, 
I got my, my husband's never watched it with me and I had it recorded the other night and, and he watched it with me. So I have a, an extra special memory, um, you know, of that. Next, I'm going to show you, um, a Merry Christmas sampler by Lottie Da. And it is the season to be jolly, but I like to think of myself as trying to do that year round and not just at a certain time. Um, so my color reference for it was stitched on um, 36 count uh, or 40 count pecan butter and we have it in stock. And the color reference, if you're needing color references, this is why I do this, is 612 DMC. That's really close to it. It does have a little bit of modeling, but not dramatic. And then this one was stitched with DMCs. And so I pulled the, or with the help of one of the girls out front, uh, those are the DMC colors that goes on that. So that's just really pretty and really rich and just a perfect little stitch. I like the sampler part of it. I like samplers big and small. Some of them uh, speak to me more than others, but um, they're all wonderful. A lot of them are just unique, and then some of them are reproductions. So we've um, tried to make sure that we have a good selection. Uh, we are carrying all of the hats across the sea. Um, the... Uh, reprints of the, I think it's called the Uni, Unifeld Sisters. We will have those available also. Those are a pre-order. Um, but next I'm going to show you is um, Plum Street's A Country Winter. And I just love this one. There's just something about that, I guess, barn or stable. Um, however, to me, with it being in the country, I would say it's a barn. But then it also kind of looks more like some of the uh, the horse stables that you see in some areas and it was originally these are the colors that was used in it really really pretty colors now, there's a, one DMC in there and then the rest for all weeks and the original was stitched on confederate gray by weeks dye works and I love their fabrics um, they have dye lots that just really make things pop. Uh, and so and the closest thread color that I could get for this was 07 from Weeks. And I know that looks a little bit different when you look at the whole thing. But when you pull out just a couple little threads and lay it on there, that is going to be the most that you're going to see. So it was originally stitched on the Confederate Gray with these beautiful colors. Just lots of just beautiful colors. And then what I thought I would do is show you. This is a, I don't know if you know about Legacy Linen. We carry quite a few of those, which is another quality linen. And this one's called Puritan Gray. And the close color for that is 648. And... So for the uh, a country winner, which what we've been talking about, is this. It would look really pretty on this, a really soft gray. And then I pulled Nocturne from Picture This Plus. So give it a really pretty wintry look behind it. So that would look really nice. And for that Nocturne, it kind of falls in these gray blues. And so I have pulled, again, four, and we've got, I believe, four, four 15, four 14, and then that 37, 68. So this is a very modeled piece, and that will, there, that might help right there, show you. Okay. So again, that's another option, and I've got one more, and this one's Picture This Plus, and I don't know why we just ended up with these today. A lot of times, we just we never know, um, but this one um, is Arctic by Picture This Plus, and the kind of the thread colors, this, believe it or not, it has some green in it, so if you were to take Ecru 503, 
931 and 932. That's what you're going to see because it's almost kind of like an Arctic cloudy day with some green hues in it. And so those threads for the country winter also look really fabulous on that too. Just always remember dye lots change and what you see is may not what I see. But we wanted to give four different color options there of just different fabrics if you don't want to do Confederate gray. That would be a really good option to do. We um, also, one last thing I want to show is Little House Needleworks Bee Garden. And this is what it is. And I had found this little board, but I'm not quite for sure that I'm going to put it on that. But I thought it would just, just kind of give you an option of finding just little things that you can use and refurbish um, to put there. And this one's Punch Needle. So just a little option there. And then I'm going to end off just reminding you that we have the sale going until midnight of December the 31st um, on all of our praiseworthy stitches. If we don't have it in stock, we will order it for you. We do have some. I have one going on the um, Quaker Halloween Simple Gifts that's praiseworthy stitches. Um, Fat Cat Flossing has the Carols on the Square. And then we've still got the uh, Cricut Collection or Cross-Eyed Cricut um, Playing with Jacks. Those are all still available. Uh, through December the 31st midnight with a 15% off whether you purchase just the chart whether you purchase the chart fabrics fabrics well, however you want to mix it up what you need we're willing to help you with that and that code is SAL S-A-L FUN F-U-N 19 so take a look at um, maybe your stash you may have one that you just need fabrics and threads for um, we will be glad to help you in any way we can I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We did. It was different this year. We had an empty chair. Um, and I'll just leave it at that. But we did have, um, we still had a, a good time. We got together and and just um, was together to show love one another for the loss that we did have this year. We want to wish you a safe um, December month. And hope that you stay safe. We hope you have a Merry Christmas. I do plan on being back for one more floss tube before the end of the year. So stay tuned. You can uh, reach me at ann at shepherdsneedle.com. You can also um, email me through at ann at, um, I'm sorry, ann at shepherdsneedle.com. Um, our website has all of our information. I'm on floss tube, of course, if you're watching now. We're doing Instagram. Um, so just let us know how we can help you as a stitcher. Even if you just have a question, I'll be glad to do what I can. Um, I'm not a walking dictionary of everything, but I will be happy to help you in any way I can. I do want to um, say that uh, I'm very thankful for our country and that we have one of our sons um, left Monday for an overseas tour. Uh, so we got to see him right before Thanksgiving. And so if you would, please just keep uh, Jesse in your thoughts and prayers until he returns home. Um, if you watched my last video, I did not have a giveaway. And so what I'm going to do is do a double. Um, so if you, watch the, if you haven't watched the last video, watch it and make a comment. Um, and then on this one, same thing, watch it and make a comment. And we're going to give away these cute little jingle uh, stick pins for the holidays. Um, so I will actually be giving away two. We'll do a drawing from number 10's video. This is number 11's. So um, two lucky winners, one from number 10 and one from number 11. So go comment if you haven't because you still have time. And uh, we will do a new video in about two weeks and uh, draw names. And you could be one of the lucky winners. And I will do everything I can 
it might be a challenge. I probably won't reach you before Christmas, but anyhow, um, just want to say thank you and everybody. How be safe out there. Watch, um, watch it when you're crossing parking lots and different things, and just be safe. And we look forward to seeing you before 2020 one more time. Thanks, everybody, and thank you for all your wonderful love and comments that you have left. We appreciate you. Bye-bye.